Hey guys. Hello. So this is going to be a quick video and uh, I'm going to unbox this uh, guess what Teleview 4X Home 8 I bought this mainly for uh, two things one is um, definitely planetary imaging earlier I was using the GSO 3X Barlow and the GSO 2 inch 2x Barlow. I, I have them over here, you can actually see. So, this is the GSO 1.1 and a quarter inch uh, 3x Barlow, and uh, I was using it for my planetary imaging. I already have the IR cut uh, filter over here mounted, as you can see, some marks, um, you know, for my uh, focusing. So I was using this primarily for my um, planetary imaging and I also have this uh, GSO 2 inch 2x uh, Barlow lens and I was using this mainly for my visual. The purpose of uh, getting the Teleview is uh, both of them are not apochromatic so you have a lot of chromatic abrasions. In visual it really does not matter but uh, for planetary imaging I have seen uh, this you know red and uh, blue band that will come in uh, your, around your subject uh, you are photographing so that's why I, I got this what I have heard is this is this is apochromatic uh, Barlow so Teleview uh, PowerMate so let's open it up okay Ah, this is the invoice. Right. Skip it aside. One thing immediately I can tell this is much more heavier than, than what I have seen. This is almost like this is double the weight of this one. Oh, one, uh, of course, yeah. One caveat over here is um, I, I have removed the, the adapter over here, but even if you put it, it is still way more heavier. And one thing that immediately you can tell is the fit and finish is really superb so if, you, if you compare this uh, you know the fit and finish you can see the finish over here is much much finer let's uh, let's see let's open it up ah okay so you can see over here see the difference you have these threads for mounting the filter I believe yeah let's close it ah this opens up as well so in case you want to mount this to uh, the T-ring you can do that so you can clearly see there is one lens element over here there is one lens element over here so you know it's doing some amount of uh, correction i don't want to put the dust so let's just you know screw it back in so i think the power mate uh, it comes in um, 2x, 2.5x, 3x, 4x, there's a variety in uh, which uh, uh, these power mate comes in. Uh, the reason I have chosen uh, 4x primarily was, uh, you know, I already have a 2x and 3x. I wanted something more powerful for my planetary imaging. So that's the reason I went for higher power. And of course, uh, you know, this is a, this need not mention, it's just awesome brand. So, let's 
if I have to keep this, uh, you know, on side by side. So I have some images which is taken uh, from this one with the DSLR and this one with the QHY planetary camera. I'm yet to test this one. So as soon as I have, uh, you know, the, the planets are up again now, it's not the planet season. But as soon as uh, they come back above the horizon, I'm going to compare uh, the set of images between these three. That's it for now. Bye-bye.